Hello again, it's Cami from the vlog Tidbits here. Now, if the kitchen is the heart of the home, then I would say the kitchen sink is the hub of the home. I don't know about you, but with a family of six, our sink stays busy. Between meals, snacks, food prep, washing dishes, and even foot baths, our sink can take a hit. I'd like to share how I keep this big, beautiful, large, single basin sink looking good and staying scratch and stain free. In all our previous homes, we've had a white ceramic sink. Now, if I'm being honest, I struggled to keep them clean. The only thing that I found that would whiten and brighten the sink was bleach, like my mama did. <laughs> and I hate bleach. I can almost guarantee a migraine after using it, even just a tiny bit. But the thing is, I love the look of a white sink, especially this lovely fire clay um, sink from Blanco. But I wanted to find products and solutions for keeping it clean without bleach. I'm happy to report these five successful solutions that have kept our sink looking brand new while dealing with the needs of a busy home and even after having harsh stains in it due to the iron in our water when we first moved in. Now, like I mentioned, our sink is fire clay material, but I imagine these solutions would be great for ceramic sinks as well. So the first thing you need to consider if you want a stain and scratch free sink is prevention. Now the best way to deal with the problem is to prevent it in the first place. I am frequently hand washing metal pots and heavy cast iron pans in here and these would no doubt do a number on the surface if I allowed them to sit at the bottom of the sink or if my kids were to try to hand wash them themselves in there. I can recall growing up and my mom frequently saying, don't scratch the sink, which was near impossible not to do in order to scrub a metal, a metal pan. Getting a metal rack that sits at the bottom of the sink is a game changer for our Blanco fire clay sink. It is an accessory that came with it and it's made to fit the sink perfectly, but I know you can buy a variety of sizes of sink protectors that will probably work with your kitchen sink. I'd begin my search on Amazon or visit a kitchen supply store or contact your sink manufacturer. Now let's talk about cleaning the sink after meals. Now, this is a quick and easy step that makes a huge difference. After each meal, I will find food scraps floating around the sink left from food prep and waste being dumped inside or rinsed off from the plates. Now I've found that leaving them to sit for hours on the sink will increase my chances that they will actually stain the bottom. This large single basin is especially prone to this since there is such a large surface for the food to spread out and find a resting place. This fact being perhaps the only downside that I could think of for this large sink. But if you saw the, my reasons for why I love this sink in my previous post, this is something I'll happily put up with. Now, even if you do all the dishes right away after each meal, taking a few seconds to just spray it down and rinse over any leftover food or gunk that might be sitting there will keep it looking nice all day long and do wonders for preventing stains in the first place. Okay, another simple daily thing that you can do to keep your sink looking good. Uh, next to my nightly ritual of having a soothing cup of herbal tea, I make it a point to remove the metal rack that's inside the sink and give it a quick scrub down with a rag, maybe a bit of dish soap, and then I'm sure to just do a quick scrub on the sides and on the front and rinse that soapy water down. And then I replace the rack. You can even train your kids and spouse to do this um, if they are on dish duty. Again, it only takes a few minutes, but it can make a huge difference for preventing stains that will sit and soak in to where they will need more drastic measures. Now, speaking of more drastic measures, <laughs> sometimes you need something stronger than soapy water to get your sink clean. Now, I find this to be the case about every week or two weeks. I have found two cleaners that have allowed me to kick bleach to the curb once and for all. If you've been around Tidbits long enough, you know that I love natural solutions for our homes, mostly because I am so sensitive to chemicals if you haven't caught on to that already. Now, my friend Chloe from Boxwood Avenue recommended this non-toxic 
cleaning paste on her Instagram one day and I immediately bought it so that I could give it a try to see if it would work on the sink. It's this paste that comes in this little tub. It's called a Bene Qui. <laughs> you can read more about it on Amazon, but it has no bleaches, solvents, it's biodegradable, and it cleans a multitude of surfaces like grout, countertops, cookware, and more. Now, it has no smell and you just use a rag to wipe it on your surface, buff it around, and then rinse it off. It works amazingly well and I'm excited to have this friendlier option for when the sink needs a bit more help. This next product is when for nothing else works and no, it's not bleach. <laughs> when we dug our well, we discovered high iron content water and it wreaked havoc on our shower and sinks and basically anywhere where water was allowed to sit. Everything turned yellow and not a single natural cleaning solution I could cook up would even touch it. And we did get a whole house water filter to solve the initial problem, but I was left with stubborn yellow stains in my nice new home and I did what every gal does when they're faced with a problem. I asked my friends on Instagram. <laughs> Many lovely women recommended this barkeeper's friend. Now I knew it wasn't all natural, but I was desperate and miracles happened. Um, these stains lifted without hardly any scrubbing and I didn't get a migraine. <laughs> now I'm not sure what is in it and you have to read the label to make sure you don't use it on surfaces. It's not intended to be used on, but it has no smell, no bleach, and it works like a charm. However, I did wear gloves to be safe and just used a non-abrasive scrubber to help with the job. I now keep this stuff stashed on the top shelf in my cleaning locker and pull it out when my sink or shower need a little extra help, which is about every month or so. Okay, there are five tips to help you keep your sink looking brand new every day and for many years. I know there has to be some other great ideas and products out there, so feel free to share what works for you in the comments below. Now, I've been sharing a lot of content centered around our kitchen so far, so feel free to check out my videos all about our DIY butcher block countertops, and you can dig into more detail on our fireplace sink from Blanco and learn about the hardware that we use for our kitchen and much more is on my blog tidbits. Go ahead and subscribe, ring a bell, give me a thumbs up, and be sure to come back for more inspiration for do-it-yourself living. Thank you for watching.